Welcome back to Let's Play Nobody Saves the World. I'm Burning Dog Face. And there, I did an intro as the uh, zombie, even though it was draining my health. Oh my! I like the thought that that slap was attack boosted. Come get some. Oh no, what will I do? Oh dear, it's almost like I turned myself into a hammer. Hammer with a long, flowing, luxurious mane. Zero to zombie in one second. I really should stop wandering around and nobody. No, no, I took that one off, that's right. Hit five baddies in one flex and I'm most likely there. No, not gonna get me this time. Let me guess, explodey hands down there. Plenty of them. I hate being right. I. Yes! Aha! I deliberately let that guy die from the poison. Slowly running away. Interesting that you can slow them, but not uh, hurt them like this. Oh, alright, you win. I do like the way money comes flying in off the side of the screens if I've missed anything and I switch to someone with uh, the infinite range money magnet. Well, there's the boss room right there. Just up to the... Oh, it's the old lady. Get back, skeleton! Oh, you're no skeleton. Yeah, I'm a slug at the moment. How embarrassing would it be if I was a skeleton? Forgive me, I'm feeling a little out of my element here. Maybe running ahead of my niece is a mistake. Oh, you've met her! Isn't she so cute and cheek? I thought if I brought her a cool skull, maybe she'd think I'm cool too! But 
Everywhere I step in here, a skeleton pops out of the ground and attacks me. I should kill the baddies in the next room. Maybe a cool skull will drop for my niece. That's a lot of skeletons. Yeah, just keep following me, you dumbass. Zombie, for God's sake. Okay, this is getting awfully crowded. Oh, fuck. I thought that guy was dead. guy with poison damage. That doesn't usually happen. Ah, oh, good. Quest complete. Dungeon Beheaded Behemoth. Clear the Beheaded Behemoth dungeon. Well, unless you're English, in this case, it's pronounced Beheaded Behemoth. Oh, the skulls are smashed to bits, you say? Okay, I'll go back to my niece. Thanks anyway. You kids and your fancy teleporters. I'm walking. Sorry, dear, I couldn't get the skull you wanted. Aw, oh, Auntie, I don't care about that. I'm just glad you're safe. Besides, like I've told you a million times, I'm not even into this stuff. I only carry this skull around because you gave it to me. And I wanted you to think I was cool. Like you. You think I'm cool? Hey, did you hear that? My niece thinks I'm cool! Oh, brother. <laughs> Aw. Hey, cool cat. I mean, I don't understand my niece's hobbies, but that doesn't mean I don't support her. Auntie, I know you mean well, but please stop using slang. It's embarrassing. I shouldn't seem to have a downward-facing sprite. Oops. Well, I'm glad that worked out in the end. Ah, that feels good. What next, since it doesn't lead to the nest? Oh, 
Oh, yes, the expense. Hmm. Well, I could give it a shot, see if that path of lights here maybe leads down to the exit to this. On a side note, it's a small thing, like a really small thing, but I really, really appreciate that when you switch levels in the world map, everything lines up exactly. So, you know, the exit to this uh, cave here shows up exactly where the entrance to the cave is in the overworld. Just the fact that everything is one-to-one -one makes it so much less of a headache to figure out stuff when you're looking at the underground maps. Because I have played games where it's like, every time you do that, you need to take a second to uh, go, okay, so this is there, then I am here, and I guess that must be the one that leads. on it. Well, now that I'm out of there, it'll probably be easier to use Pump Up. Case in point. Oh, no, fuck. That's right. That has to be killing them, doesn't it? Ah! It's all that, and you have to slap him around first, too. Just get out of that way. Um... Well, at least I was hitting two-plus enemies with a confetti bomb. That. And that. Oh my god, that did way more damage than the little ones did. Okay, now we know what the real ones do. Before we head into the dark, I stand in the light. He has the most health. Monsters. Oh! Oh! Smashing the rock thing had a, uh, a, a light underneath it. Brazier. complete, custom 2, let me wash that off. Hit slowed baddies with turtles water spray as the slug. Level up! Hell yeah. And a new quest. Custom 3, escargot croquet. Crit baddies with robots ravager rocket. Oops, spoilers. Ah, I'm not dying anymore because I leveled up. Oh, get out of the dark, though. Fuck. Wait. Hmm. The road's really close. Well, fuck it, then. Fuck it. All of you get fucked. Oh, no. See, I'm not doing too well. No time for fanciness to smash them all. Come out here and say that, you shithead. There you go! Isn't that a good way for that to end? Laughing of a lifetime, you hoser. Where 
was it there? Oh, this is excruciating. I'm never gonna get anywhere like this. There's all these level 45 dudes in here. I don't even see any enemies right here, just the rocks. Cardinal directions. Oh, it's just over. Oh, I see. Those things are already marked on the map as uh, braziers, whether or not they're uh, inside the rocks. damage standing right here, but it doesn't feel very comfortable. Ha-ha! But the slug was really close, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh... Hang on, what level was that? Shadowlands level 45. Well... Maybe I've made a terrible mistake, but I can probably escape down here. Oh, yes. Yes, we'll be slugging almost all the way up, so... Let me go ahead and... Oh, no, no. Almost had me there. Closer. So yeah, basically I have to fit a whole shitload of dudes with blah blob and a whole shitload of dudes with confetti bombs. Oh good, it's the arm squad. Hey guys, how's it going? Just hit baddies, right? Yeah. So it's uh actually against my interests to uh upgrade it to uh, upgrade it? It's against my interest to charge it up, so it'll do less damage, which means I can hit them more times. Oh, hey. At least I got chicken. Weird. There's just nothing here. There were some chests, and some monsters, and a shortcut. It is interesting that this game very strongly resembles the sort of format used by, say, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. But at the same time, they have set up this game in such a way that chests are almost entirely uninteresting, because they're only ever money, tokens, and uh, food. I understand that finding something to put in all the goddamn chests is the entire reason that, uh... Breath of the Wild used the infamous uh, item durability decision. Where am I off to? I could continue exploring up there. That's not a issue. Where am I to nearest the... Wow, I'm just kind of in the middle of fucking nowhere right now. Jeez, I swear this is the furthest I can get away from any, uh, fast travel plate. 
Well, you know the drill. What? Mermaid? Hearse! Uh, uh, uh. Horse is very good at running literal circles around bad guys and their projectiles. Yeah, sure. I mean, this place will be full of monsters that run the fuck away from me anyway. I'm almost 20 levels higher than that. This is still only uh, three levels lower than me, this dungeon. You know, uh, commemorate the victory is one thing, but leaving the dragon's stinking corpse just lying there is weird. Yes, that's right. Or it could only be the uh, the guard. It's somewhere out there. It's someone who has done it. It's nobody. Almost went too far. In fairness, this doesn't look like it goes anywhere. It's surprisingly difficult to hit both of those guys at once. Hey, that should do it. Quest complete, Blob Lob 1. Hit baddies with Blob Lob, hold to charge, range, and damage, and it doesn't actually quite make it. Okay, knocked Blob Lob 2. Hit slowed baddies with Blob Lob. Okay. Let me check a thing. Uh, uh, like I came by as soon as I turn off the button. Oh, that's right. Oh no, I need to hit two dudes of that. Piss! I'll just kill you. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Nobody Saves the World. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time. Later!